Hey everybody, how's it going tonight? Hope you're all doing well. Back. Um, not sure why my sound's not working. But my little song's here. Let's see, does this song play? No. Do you guys hear the music? <laughs> Is it just me? I can hear you and the music. Okay. I don't hear music. It's not good. Let me replay an alert. I heard that. Heard that. Oh well, we'll figure it out. Anyway, let's kick things off with our wild card championship. We have Shockwave looking to pick up the Wild Card Championship from Murky Waters. Woo! Hello, Soups. Hello. How you guys doing tonight? Oh, there's my there's my arm. <laughs> Too worried about the music, which I don't hear. There we go. Oh, we got a Pokemon in chat. Spinarak. If you want to try and pokey catch it. Let's go ahead and roll for initiative. Initiative is going to go to a tie, so let's try that again. Murky Waters, the champion with initiative. Spinning Heel Kick 2, Agility, that's going to get through. Hurt 2. Whip with Tail 2. Dazed 1. Blow Bubbles at opponent 1. Dazed 1. Blow Bubbles at opponent 1. Dazed 1. Spinning Heel Kick 2, Agility, that gets through. Shockwave, one. Headbutt, one. Murky Waters, two. Fisherman Suplex, three. Pin needs a three or better. Three or better. He'll kick out with an eight. Pick up a fatigue token. And Murky Waters is on level three offense. Death Jump, let's go ahead and do it. He's got a B rating. 9B on Death Jump. The opponent blasts you. The flying clothesline from the top rope. You're in trouble. The opponent rolls on level 3 offense. Murky Waters on 3. Congrats on the catch. 
Fishing line, three. Hurt, two. Gloria flipper kicks, two. Hurt, two. Deadliest catch, three. Hurt, two. Rolling neck snap, two. Hurt, two. Flurry of flipper kicks, two. Hurt, two. Flurry of flipper kicks, two. Dazed, one. Into the ropes, no choice. He's got a B rating, 6B on into the ropes, 6B. The opponent drops down to go into the ropes again. Roll again on this chart. Uh-oh, 3B. The opponent gets into position for a back body drop, but you grab him and hit him with an awesome pile driver. Roll on level three offense. Shockwave on three. Hip toss into the turnbuckle, two. Hurt, two. Battle cry blast, three. Hurt, two. Cygnus slam, choice E. Choice E. Uh, we'll do the Power Slam 2 that'll work on an 11 or less. 11 or less for a Power Slam 2. Got it. Hurt 2. Alien Attack 3. Down 3. Murky Waters will leave the ring. He's going to get out of there. 7B. In order to meet the referee's count, you crawl helplessly back into the ring. Opponent rules on level 3 offense. I'm all wrapped up in my wires here. <laughs> Shockwave on three. Dreadnought death drop plus three. Uh-oh, could this rain be over? Needs a six or better. Six or better. Here we go. Kicks out with a seven. Shockwave on three. Ooh, he hits him with it again. Needs a seven or better now to kick out. A seven or better. Kicks out with a nine. Shockwave on three. Hip toss into turnbuckle, two. Murky waters, one. Blow bubbles at opponent, one. Dazed, one. Dead sea driver, three. Down three, shockwave's going to leave the ring. He's getting out of there. 10A, the mic roll. The opponent comes out of the ring and tries to hit you with an object like a steel chair. There's no DQ, so the referee can kick rocks. Murky Waters is on level 3 offense. Lagoon kick 3, add 1. Pin! Shockwave needs a 5 or better. 5 or better. Hi, Screaming Dragon. Kicks out with a 10, but gets another fatigue. Murky Waters on level 3 offense. Death Jump, he'll do it. Ooh, snake eyes on a B. The opponent tries a spectacular move, but accidentally smashes into the referee. The referee is down. Roll two dice to see how many moves the referee will miss as a result. Seven. Seven. Roll one die. Even. The opponent is distracted by the referee being down, and you make a big move. Roll on level three offense. Shockwave takes over on level three. Here we go. Hip toss into turnbuckle two. Dazed one. Punching combination choice A. Let's throw him into the ropes. Four B. 4B on into the ropes. The opponent gets into position for a back body drop, but you grab him and hit him with an awesome pile driver. Roll on level 3 offense. Death jump. Let's do it. 5B on death jump. The opponent climbs to the top, but you recover and throw him off the turnbuckle and into the ring. He goes down hard. Roll on level 3 offense. Shockwave on three. Guided missile three. Hurt two. Blatant choke two. 
Hurt 2. Battle Cry Blast 3. Hurt 2. Choice E on the Cygnus Slam. Choice E. We will do a Power Slam 2 on an 11 or less. Got it for 2. Hurt 2. The referee is up. Into the turnbuckle. Let's do it. He's got a B rating. Uh-oh. Snake Eyes on a B. Snake Eyes on a B. The opponent tries a running clothesline, but you move, and he crashes into the turnbuckle. You cover him for the pin. He needs a six or better. Six or better for old Shockwave here. Kicks out with a nine. He's up to four fatigue. Murky Waters on level three offense. Out of the ring choice. He'll roll up. Whip with tail, two. Shockwave, one. Big Boot, two. Agility. Murky Waters takes over for agility. Deadliest Catch, three. Hit, or hurt, two. Deadliest Catch, three. Down, three. Shockwave's going to leave the ring. 7A. 7A. The opponent comes out of the ring to attack you in a wild brawler. Ups the wrestler with the better ring rating. Wins the brawl and rolls on level three offense. That is Shockwave. Shockwave on three. Hip toss into turnbuckle. Two. Down three. Uh-oh. Death jump. A roll up. Signal slam. Choice C. We'll do the 11 or less for two. Got it. Dazed one. Headbutt one. Dazed one. Shove across the ring to agility. Murky Waters takes over for agility. Diving clothesline choice B. Try the standing drop kick. That'll work on an 11 or less. Got it for two. Hurt two. Fisherman suplex three. Hurt two. Uh, diving clothesline will do the 11 or less for two. Got it for two. Hurt two. Flurry of Flipper Kicks 2. Hurt 2. Flurry of Flipper Kicks 2. Dazed 1. Dead Sea Driver 3. Down 3. Shockwave will leave the ring. 6A on out of the ring. The opponent comes out of the ring to continue the fight, but you grab him and smash him onto the announcer's table. There's no DQ, so he's on level 3 offense. Death jump. He'll roll up. Alien attack. Three. Pin. Uh-oh. Murky Waters needs a five or better. Kick out with a seven. Gets another fatigue. Shockwave on three. Out of the ring. No choice. Hello, Blue. Let's go, Murky. Seven B. In order to meet the referee's count, you crawl helplessly back into the ring. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Shockwave on three. Hip toss into turnbuckle, two. Down, three. There it is. Dreadnought death drop, plus three. Needs a nine or better. Nine or better. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. Your winner, and now a double champion, Shockwave. Shockwave picking up the win. Against Murky Waters. Three and a half from Soup's picturing him with a belt slung over each shoulder. Three from Dragon, three from Derek. This could be interesting. He has a big title defense coming up for his dimensional championship against Elostrios. Three from Blue. Gonna get interesting.
All right, let's see who his challenger will be next week. All right, here we go. Ooh, John Heal. John Heal to challenge Shockwave next week. Interesting. All right. Okay, let's get into our matches now. We've got Captain Adam Space Pirate taking on Lance Romance. Here we go, rolling for initiative. Initiative's gonna go to Lance Romance. Alright. Quick jab, one. Hurt, two. He caught him with that one. Blatant choke, two. Power. Adam takes over for power on level two. Into the turnbuckle, he'll roll. Eh, no, he's not going to roll up. He's got a horrible level one offense. Uh-oh, snake eyes on an A. The opponent tries to run in clothesline, but you move, and he crashes into the turnbuckle. You cover him for the pin. The opponent rolls pin. Adam needs a four or better. Four or better. He'll kick out. Uh-oh. Hi, die smash. Thank you for the lurk. Lance Romance on level 3 offense. Top rope leg drop. Choice H. He's going to go ahead and death jump at him. Ooh. We've got a 5B on death jump. He kind of climbs to the top of your cover and throw him off the turnbuckle and into the ring. He goes down hard. Rule on level 3 offense. Captain Adam on three. Swash, buckling, splash, three. Hurt, two. Jawbreaker, two. Lance Romance, one. Rose to the face, one. Days, one. Slap of rejection, three. Agility gets through. Hurt two. Two timing suplex three. Pin. Captain Adam needs a five or better. A five or better. Your winner with a two timing suplex, Lance Romance. Lance Romance wins with the two timing suplex. Nice. In between getting these kids to sleep. <laughs> Trying to get myself back in focus, even though no one probably wants that. Got two and a half from Soups, two from Screaming Dragon, two from Bear. One and a half from Blue. Oh, we missed a Pokemon. Any other star ratings in chat? All 
Alright, that'll average out to a two star match. I drank way too much of that just now. Alright, what do we got next? We've got a tag team match. Sherry Cola versus La Malaysia. Where are their cards? <laughs> stalling, stalling. All right, we're good. All right, let's roll for initiative. Initiative goes to Sherry Cola. Wrist lock one, dazed one. Arm drag one. Hurt two. Suburban nightmare. Choice D. Choice D. We'll do the Cobra Clutch Suplex three that will work on a 12 or less. Rolling for formality. Hey, we got it. Hurt two. Into the ropes. Let's do it with the B rating. 7B on into the ropes. You come with the ropes and the opponent puts you down hard with a running back elbow. Opponent rolls on level 2 offense. Spinning heel kick 2. Hurt 2. Into the ropes. Let's do it again. Same thing. Crushed by a big kick. Or, sorry, running back elbow. Opponent rolls on level 2. Hot head red 3. Down 3. Level Aza will leave the ring. She's getting out of there. 6B on out of the ring. The opponent comes out of the ring to attack you in a wild brawler ups. The wrestler with the better ring rating wins the brawl. They're both A B. So Sherry Kula stays on offense. Death jump, no choice. She's got an A rating. Ooh, three A on death jump. The opponent comes off the top rope with an awesome cross body block, but you counter with a specialty move. Opponent rolls pin. Sherry needs a four or better. She'll kick out with a six. Gets a fatigue. And La Valeza is on level three offense. Dream Makeover plus two. She needs a seven or better. Seven or better. Seven, seven or better. <laughs> Here's your winner with Dream Makeover. La Valeza. But if she wins with that move, we've got to roll two dice. Here we go. Got a nine. Nothing happens. Sherry escapes with her hair. Your winner, La Beleza. La Beleza is the winner. Don't forget about Stream Raiders. We have about two minutes left before this battle, so we'll probably just run that before we start the next match. Get those star ratings in. One and a half from blue, one and a half from bear. Excuse me. Two from Derek. Any other star ratings in the chat? All right, um, that'll be a two-star match then when we round up. Let's head on over to Stream Raiders. Got a couple minutes before this battle is ready to go. Get those last-minute units on the battlefield. A two from Screaming Dragon makes it officially a two.
All right, let me know. Let's see if I hear the sounds from Stream Raiders, if it's just the, the songs. Skinathon coming up October 11th. It's a Friday night, 8 p.m. Gonna try and do the 24 hours again. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Alrighty, here we go. I heard that. For some reason, the, the songs I have loaded in the stream don't play for me, but they're playing for you, which is all I really should be worried about. Good luck everybody. I don't have the sound effects turned on on here. Turn it on for the next one. Congratulations team! We did it! Most kills to me, most assists to Bear805. Extra loot's gonna go to Bear805 and Gary Daniel. Congratulations. Load up our next battle here. Oops. All right, there's our new battlefield. Feel free to join us. The link is there in chat. Um, yeah. Oh, let me turn the sound back on before I forget. Okay. Alrighty, up next, we've got a tag team match. No Room in Hell, Vladimir Plasma, and Romero take on the Rascally Rodents. And the Cottontail and a Roadkill Raccoon. Here we go. We're going to have Romero and Pete Cottontail start this one off. It's a rule for initiative. Initiative is going to go to Pete Cottontail. Wrist lock and punch to power. Romero takes over for power. Shamble and dive to choice A. He'll throw Pete into the ropes. 4B on Into the Ropes. 4B. The opponent gets into position for a back body drop, but you grab him and hit him with an awesome pile driver. Roll on level 3 offense. The Cottontail on 3. Fight to the forehead. 2. Hurt. 2. Side headlock. 2. Power. Romero takes over for power. Back rake. 2. Hurt. 2. Scratch. 2. Power. It's through. Dazed one. Go for the throat. Three. Agility. Pete Cottontail takes over for agility. Side headlock two power. Romero takes over for power. Shamble and dive. Choice A will go back into the ropes. 6B on into the ropes. 6B. The opponent drops down to go into the ropes again. Roll again on this chart. 7B. You come off the ropes and the opponent puts you down hard with a running back elbow. Opponent rolls on level 2 offense. Romero on 2. Bite! 3, add 1. Uh oh. Down 3. Pete Cottontail will leave the ring. 8B. 
In order to meet the referee's count, you crawl helplessly back into the ring. Opponent rolls on level 3 offense. Uh, let's bring Vladimir Plasma in on level 3 offense. Throw those tokens on old Pete here. Bloodlust can't do it. He's got to roll again. Out of the ring. No choice. 4B on out of the ring. 4B. The opponent comes out of the ring in a wild brawler. Ups. Both wrestlers rolled his qualification. Uh-oh. We've got to do use our mulligan there. He's DQ'd. No DQ. Your winners by disqualification. The rascally rodents. Hello, Wall. How you doing? The rascally rodents win by disqualification. We've got a two from Soups. A two from Screaming Dragon. Any other star ratings in chat? Your winners by disqualification. Everybody else might have been in an ad. Disqualification. That lighting seems off still. I do that. There we go. A little bit better. All right, your winners by disqualification. We had the double DQ on out of the ring, and uh, no room in hell failed the uh, the DQ check. So your winners twice failed the DQ check. The Rascally Rodents. Two from Supes, two from Screaming Dragon, one and a half from Bear, two from Derek. Any other star ratings in chat? A two from Blue. There's our Stream Raiders link. If you want to join us on the battlefield. All right, that's going to be a two-star match. Let's see what we have scheduled next. We have Cardinal Maximoff taking on Leon Volador. High-flying spectacle. Got a stuffle in chat. A stuffle, if you want to poke and catch it. I feel like I'm casting a shadow more than normal. I think my light might have moved. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's roll for initiative. Initiative's going to go to Leon Volador. There we go. He'll start with a Lion Salt. Three agility. It gets through. Hurt two. Elbow strike two. Hurt two. Big Cat Backbreaker three. Hurt two. Elbow strike two. Down three. Running knee strike two. Cardinal Maximoff one. Half Nelson takeover two. Power. Gets through. Wait, no. Leon has the better power. Tail whip two. Hurt two. Sunset flip back. Sunflip, sunset flip and backdrop two. Choice F. Uh, let's do the running Larry at three. That'll work on a ten or less. Ten or less. Congrats on the catch bear. Ten or less for three. Got it. 
Down three. Running knee strike two. Cardinal Maximoff one. Into the ropes. No choice. He's got an A rating. 6A on into the ropes. 6A. He caught the ropes as a powerful flying shoulder tackle. Roll on level 2 offense. We own on level 2. Anime and axe handle. 3. Down 3. Cardinal Maximoff will leave the ring. He's got a C rating. 3C. The opponent comes out of the ring in a while. Brawler offs both wrestlers rule disqualification. Uh oh, this is how our last match ended. <laughs> no repeats. No DQ. Even Cardinal wins. Odd Volador wins. Volador wins the brawl. Lions Roar 3. Pin. Needs a 5 or better. He'll kick out with an 11. Gets a fatigue. Leon Volador is on level 3 offense. Lions Roar again. Hurt 2. Into the turnbuckle. It's got a B rating. We'll go ahead and do it. 11B. He bounced forward off the turnbuckle and into an incredible neck-breaking clothesline. Opponent rolls on level 3 offense. Out of the ring. He'll do it. He's got a C rating. 9C. In order to meet the referee's count, you crawl helplessly back into the ring. Opponent rolls on level 3 offense. Out of the ring again. Ooh, I think that's a count-out check. Yep. Roll on count-out. He needs a six or better. Makes it back in. Leon Volador is on level three offense. Lion's Roar, three. Hurt, two. Tail Whip, two. Down, three. King of the Jungle, plus two. He needs a nine or better. Nine or better. Ooh, and there's doubles. You're a winner with King of the Jungle, Leon Volador. Is your winner with King of the Jungle. Let's see your star ratings and feud votes, please. Star rating and feud votes. Got a two from blue. Two from Derek. Any other star ratings or feud votes in chat? Two from Wall. All right, looks like this will be a two star match. Two stars. Right on. Dragon agrees. Up next, we've got Marsha, Marsha, Marsha Quagmire taking on former EWOTC Women's Champion. Jacqueline Snow. I'm a little biased. Not my favorite card. <laughs> Here we go. Let's roll for initi initiative. Ugh. When is Frankie getting a card? Never. I don't know. We'll have to see. <laughs> Rolling for initiative. Initiative is going to go to Marsha Quagmire. She will start with a knee to the midsection. Choice A. Let's throw Jacqueline Snow into the ropes. Into the ropes. 6B on into the ropes. The opponent drops down to go into the ropes again. Roll again on this chart. Can you get Wall's Fish Nuggets? 
We've got a 10B. The opponent tries to run in clothesline, but so do you. The result is a double clothesline, and you both go down. The rest with the better ropes ready recovers first and rolls on level 3 offense. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Jacqueline Snow on level 3 offense. Arctic Attack, 3. Down 3. Marsha will leave the ring. She's got an A rating. I'm starting to think the fish nuggets are some sacred tail. 10A, the mic roll. The opponent comes out of the ring and tries to hit you with an object like a steel chair. The referee comes out and warns her to stop, but she pushes the referee aside and continues. She has to roll DQ. She needs a 4 or better. No DQ. Jacqueline Snow on level 3 offense. Out of the ring choice. She will roll up. Cold front kick. 2. Down. 3. Can I buy a better bait? I don't think so. Blizzard, choice C. Blizzard, choice C. Uh, we'll do a kick to knee two. That'll work on a nine or less. Nine or less for a kick to knee two. You got it. Hurt two. Snowblind, three, add one. Down three, that's a DQ check. No DQ, Jacqueline Snow on level three offense. Falling Icicle, plus one. She's going to need a six or better. A six or better. Kicks out. Jacqueline Snow on level three offense. Arctic Attack, three. Down three. Marsha Quagmire will leave the ring. Marsha Quagmire leaving the ring. We've got a 5A. Opponent comes out of the ring in a wild brawler ups. Both wrestlers rule disqualification. No DQ. Even as Marsha, odd as snow. Marsha Quagmire wins the brawl. She's on level 3 offense. Out of the ring choice. She'll go ahead and throw her out. She's got a C rating. 5C. The opponent comes out of the ring to attack you in a wild brawler ups. The wrestler with the better ring rating wins the brawl and rolls on level 3 offense. Marsha Quagmire on level 3 offense with the A rating. Out of the ring. No, um, she'll do it. Plus power for a few minutes there. Uh oh. Oh. Golden armor. Uh, navy blue. Four C, four C. The opponent comes out of the ring to continue the fight, but you grab her and smash her onto the announcer's table with an awesome specialty move. Roll disqualification. No DQ. Jacqueline Snow on level three offense. Death jump. No choice. We got a vape. We got a 7B. 7B on Death Jump. Kind of flash with a flying clothes on. You're in trouble. Opponent rolls on level 3 offense. A traffic cone. Death Jump again. Death Jump again. 9B. The opponent blasts you the flying clothes on from the top rope. You're in trouble. Opponent rolls on level 3 offense. Death jump again. Death jump, death jump, death jump. 10B. The opponent climbs to the top of your cover and climb up and a struggle takes place. If you have a better agility than the opponent, I don't. Superplex the opponent back into the ring, so Jacqueline Snow stays on offense. With her better agility. Level 3 offense. Falling Icicle, plus 1. Marsha needs a 7 or better. A 7 or better. Picks out with a 7. Jacqueline Snow on level 3 offense. 
Falling Icicle again. Now she needs an eight or better. Scooter. Your winner with the Falling Icicle, Jacqueline Snow. Jacqueline Snow wins with the Falling Icicle. Let's see if Wall gets the nuggets here. Two scooters in a row? That's lame. See those star ratings, zero through five? Sorry, I'm sure that sounded disgusting. <laughs> we got a two from blue, two from dragon. Two and a half from Bear. I think this might have been the match of the night. Ah, that wild card match is pretty good. Two from Derek. Sunfish. That's creepy looking. Alright, that'll average out to a two star match. Two stars. Up next! We've got a tag team elimination match. The Birds of Prey taking on the Black and Blue crew. Falcon Parker and Eagle Richards against Jet Black and Blue Blue. This is a tag team elimination match. Here we go. Rolling for initiative. Falcon Parker and Jet Black are going to start for their teams. Falcon Parker with initiative. Hip Toss, one. Jet Black, one. Into the ropes, no choice. He's got an A rating on ropes. A rating. 8A. 8A on into the ropes. You go with the ropes and the opponent puts you down hard with a running back elbow. Opponent rolls on level 2 offense. Here we go. Springboard DDT, 2. Hurt 2, tag. The tag is good. Eagle Richards will enter on level 1 offense. Dropkick 2, agility. Jet Black takes over for agility. Flying Leg Lariat, 2. Dazed 1. Jawbreaker, 2. Hurt 2, tag. No tag. These guys will tag. Elbow, back elbow smash two. Dazed one. Running bulldog, choice A. Let's throw him into the ropes. Go into the ropes. 8B on into the ropes. 8B. You come off the ropes and the opponent puts you down hard with a running back elbow. Opponent rolls on level two offense. Navy blue on level two. Whoops, I only need to roll one. Back elbow smash two. There's a Pokemon in chat if you want to pokey catch it. Back elbow two. Hurt two tag. Whoop. Caught it. No tag. Into the turnbuckle. He's going to do it. B rating. 7B on into the turnbuckle. 7B. You are crushed by a big kick by the opponent. The opponent rolls on level 2 offense. Into the turnbuckle again. He's got a B rating. A B rating on into the turnbuckle. Ooh, 3B. 3B. The opponent charges you with a running shoulder dive at your move, and he crashes outside the ring. The opponent rolls on the out of the ring chart. He's got a B rating on out of the ring. 7B. In order to meet the referee's count, you crawl helplessly back into the ring. Opponent rolls on level 3 offense. Out of the ring, no choice. No choice on the out of the ring. 12, that's a count out check. Needs a 2 or better. Hey, he made it. Eagle Richards on 3. 
out of the ring again. 7B, in order to meet the referee's count, you crawl helplessly back into the ring. Opponent rolls on level 3 offense. Eagle Richards. Diving tackle, choice F. Choice F. Uh, we'll try the running leg lariat three on a six or less. Didn't get it. Navy Blue takes over on two. Into the turnbuckle. He's got a B rating. 6B on into the turnbuckle. 6B. Reversal. You reverse the move and throw the opponent into the turnbuckle. Navy Blue is also a B. 10B. You come off the turnbuckle with a big specialty move, but the opponent tries a specialty move of his own. Both wrestlers go down. The wrestler at the better turnbuckle rating recovers first and rolls on level 3 offense. They're both a B, so Eagle Richards. Eagle Richards is on offense. Double arm suplex, 3. Down 3, tag. The tag is good. Jet Black enters on level 1 offense. Scoop Slam to Power. Eagle Richards takes over for Power. Flying Head Scissors, Choice B. You're going to have to go into the Turnbuckle, even though he has an A rating. 9A on into the Turnbuckle. You're crushed by a big kick by the opponent. The opponent rolls on level 2 offense. No Nuggets to be found. Corkscrew clothesline 2, Agility, Jet Black takes over. Springboard DDT 2, Dazed 1. Into the ropes, he's got a B rating. 7B on Into the Ropes, 7B. You go off the ropes and the opponent puts you down hard with a running back elbow. Opponent rolls on level 2, Offense. Flying clothesline, Choice E. Choice E on the flying clothesline. Do the Scorpion Deathlock 3. That'll work on an 8 or less. 8 or less for 3. Got it. Hurt 2. Flying Leg Lariat 2. Eagle Richards 1. Monkey Flip 2. Hurt 2. Flying Head Scissors 2. Choice B. We gotta go Turnbuckle. Turnbuckle. 8A on into the Turnbuckle. 8A. You're crushed by a big kick by the opponent. The opponent rolls on level 2 offense. We petition a lower cost for fishing. We're going to put it on the street if I can keep casting. You put it on the street. No, you got you to gotta get some more points. Mexican surfboard, 3. Down 3, tag. The tag is good. Navy blue enters on level 1 offense. Elbow strike, 1. Eagle Richards, 2. Into the ropes, choice, he'll roll up. Scoop slam, two. Hurt, two. Mexican surfboard, three. Down three, tag. The tag is good. Jet black on level one offense. Jawbreaker, two. Dazed, one. Front kick, one. Dazed, one, tag. Tag is good. Falcon Parker enters on level 1 offense. Hip Toss 1. Jet Black 2. Missile Drop Kick 3. Hurt 2. Missile Drop Kick 3. Hurt 2. Snap Suplex 2. Choice B. We're going to go into the turnbuckle. All in favor of 100 channel point fishing costs say aye. We've got an 8C on Into the Turnbuckle. 8C. You're crushed by a big kick by the opponent. The opponent rolls on level 2 offense. Snap Suplex 2. Choice B. We're going to go back into the turnbuckle. Ooh, 3C. 3C on Into the Turnbuckle. You bounce forward off the turnbuckle and catch the charging opponent with a skull-splitting running lariat. He goes down hard. Opponent rolls on level 3 defense. Hurt two. Head scissors takedown two. Hurt two. Insiguri three. Hurt two. Black, uh, backflip climber two. Agility. 
gets through. Jet Black, two. Snap Suplex, two. Choice B will go Turnbuckle with a C rating. 10C on into the Turnbuckle. 10C. He bounced forward off the Turnbuckle and into an incredible neck-breaking clothesline. The opponent rolls on level three offense. Stealth Bomber, three, add one. Hurt two. Flying Leg Lariat, two. Hurt two, tag. No tag. Snap Suplex two, choice B. I'm going to try, have to try again later when we have more coup members. 6C for Turnbuckle, 6C. Here crushed by a big kick by the opponent. Opponent rolls on level 2 offense. Missile drop kick, 3. Pin. Needs a 4 or better. A 4 or better. Kicks out with a 10. I'm going to tag in Navy Blue on level 3 offense. Deep Blue C, plus two. He needs a seven or better. We're going to burn a pin save. We got a five on the pin save chart. Your tag partner saves you and breaks up the referee's count. Still gets a fatigue. Navy Blue on three. Death Jump. We're going to roll up. Human Torpedo, three. Pin. He needs a six or better. Falcon Parker is eliminated. Falcon Parker is eliminated. Eagle Richards and Jet Black. Level 1 offense. Initiative is going to go to Navy Blue. Running Bulldog, choice A. Let's throw him into the ropes. 10B. The opponent tries a running clothesline, but so do you. The result is a double clothesline, and you both go down. The rest with the better ropes rating, recovers first, and rolls on level three offense. That's Navy Blue. Man overboard. You play normally. Three. Pin. Needs a two or better. Kicks out with a ten. Let's go ahead and add our fatigue when we come back. Navy Blue is on level three offense. Navy Blue on level three offense when we return. Alrighty, here we go. Good luck, everybody. Everybody's underneath me. Congratulations, team. We did it. Most kills to Queen of 64. Most assists to Bear 805. Extra loot's going to go to Frankie J and Quetus. Let's get our next battle going here. We continue to go across the bottom. Cheers, Die Smash. Thank you. Quetus, thank you for the sub. 17 months. Let's get you a star on the hard hat. Thank you, Quetus. Markers all suck. Yeah. 
There you go. Thank you, Cletus64. Thank you for your continued support. Everyone's going for the fish nuggets. <laughs> All right, up next, we've got a Titan death match between Fiordi and Headhunter Travis Deadly. Thanks again, Cletus, for the resub. Titan death match: Fiordi versus Headhunter Travis Deadly. All right, rolling for initiative. Beordi with initiative. Snap suplex two, power. That gets through. Hurt two. Cubby baseball slide three. Hurt two. Into the turnbuckle. He will roll up. Giant palm thrust one. Dazed one. Snap suplex two, power. Headhunter Travis Deadly one, Headringer two, power. But you already takes over for power. Power slam two, choice C, choice C. Uh, let's do a kick to knee two, on a nine or less, nine or less. Got it for two. Hurt two. Blackhawk Assault three. Down three. Out of the ring. He'll do it. Travis has a B rating. A B rating for Travis. Nine B. In order to meet the referee's count, you crawl helplessly back into the ring. Hunter rolls on level three offense. It's almost fish nugget soups. Almost. The filet of fish. Beordi on three. Super Soldier Smash three. Pin! Travis Deadly needs a three or better. He'll kick out with an 11. Beordi on three. Beordi on three. Ultimate Havoc. Add one to both. Three. Hurt two. X Factor three. Add one. Oh boy. Hurt two. X Factor three, add one. Down three. Ultimate Havoc three, add one to both. Hurt two. Low drop kick two, agility. Travis on two for agility. Running knee to the head three. Pin. He already needs a four or better. A four or better. Your winner. Wow. After getting beat down with a running knee to the head, Headhunter Travis Deadly. Headhunter Travis Deadly is your winner with a running knee to the head. Excuse me. A giant bottle of grape soda was not the best idea. <laughs> we got a three from Soups, a two from Derek, three from Screaming Dragon, a three from Cletus, a three from Tough Big Blue. Any other star ratings in chat? Three from Bear. These guys heard right forever and said, you got it. <laughs> Fight forever. <laughs> oh, I missed the Pokemon. Congrats on the catch, Die Smash. Fight. LL. Fat fingered that one. All good. <laughs>
All right, that's a three-star match. That's the match of the night so far, everybody. Match of the night. <laughs> They've all been pretty quick. We've been kind of flying by. There's even an extra match. Anyway, it's time for our main event. Marvelous Mike taking on former dimensional champion Robert Hager. They must have the most matches against each other. They have to. They're pretty 50 50 team. Marvelous Mike says he's a main eventer. He's got himself a main event match here against Robert Hager Knight, a former champion. Let's see how he does. Can't help that they're always good matches. It, it does help. It does help. Marvelous Mike versus Robert Hager Knight. This is our main event, so let's go ahead and do a channel point wager. All right, predictions are live in chat. If you'd like to wage your channel points, feel free. No pressure. Who will win, Marvelous Mike or Robert Hager Knight in our main event? Who are you voting for, Wall? I'll drop bank coin on the opposite. Maybe you can get some fishing change. Alrighty, predictions are closed. It's time for our main event. The last match I remember to put this scene up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. We got a tie on the initiative roll. Let's try it again. Initiative is going to go to Marvelous Mike. He'll start with... Marvelous Moonsault, choice B. Choice B. Uh, he's going to throw him into the turnbuckle. Into the turnbuckle. 6A on into the turnbuckle. 6A. 
He looked the knee through the oncoming opponent's head. He's hurt. Roll on level 2 offense. Cross body block 2 power. Gets through. Hurt 2. Throat thrust 2. Marvelous Mike 1. 185 live 1. Robert Hager Knight 1. Springboard back elbow 2. Agility gets through. Hurt 2. Cross body block 2. Power gets through. Dazed 1. Snap suplex 2. Power gets through. Hurt 2. Hurricane Rana Choice E. Choice E. To the Scorpion Deathlock 3. That'll work on a 7 or less. A 7 or less. Didn't get it. Mike takes over on 2. Running Hip Attack 2. Agility gets through. Robert Hager Knight 2. Into the ropes. Choice. Uh, hmm, let's roll up. Quick chop one. Marvelous Mike two. Into the ropes. B, he'll do it. 9B on into the ropes. 9B. The opponent tries a big shorter tackle, but whether it works depends on which wrestler is more powerful. Robert Hager Knight is more powerful. He'll take over on level two offense. Cross body block two power. Hurt two. Hurricane Rana, choice E. We'll try the power slam two this time. That'll work on an 11 or less. Got it for two. Hurt two. Into the ropes. He's got an A rating. Let's roll up. Choice B on the drop kick. Let's throw him into the turnbuckle. Ooh, 3B on Into the Turnbuckle. 3B. The opponent charges you with a running shorter dive, but you move and he crashes outside the ring. The opponent rolls on the out of the ring chart. Robert Hager Knight goes out of the ring. 11B. That's a count out check. Can you beat the referee's count? He needs a 4 or better. 4 or better. He makes it back in with a 10. Marvelous Mike on level 3 offense. Marvelous Mike on level 3. Johnson Lazy Boy, 3. Hurt, 2. Power Slam, 2. Hurt, 2. Into the ropes. B, he'll do it. Nah, uh, 7B, 7B. On into the ropes. You come off the ropes and the opponent puts you down hard with a running back elbow. Opponent rules on level 2 offense. Marvelous Mike on 2. Lower lot, Larry at three. Down three. Out of the ring choice. He'll go ahead and do it. 10B. 10B on out of the ring. The opponent comes out of the ring and tries to hit you with an object like a steel chair. The referee comes out and warns him to stop, but he pushes the referee aside and continues. The opponent rolls disqualification. No DQ. Marvelous Mike is on level three offense. Blackhawk Boot, 3. Down, 3. Beaver River Plunge, plus 2. Robert Hager Knight needs a 7 or better. A 7 or better. Your winner with the Beaver River Plunge, Marvelous Mike. Marvelous Mike is your winner. Picking up a big win over a former champion. Marvelous Mike. Always bet on guys named Mike. I hope you voted for Mike. <laughs> three from Derek. Three from Blue. Tough. Uh, three from Soups. <laughs> three from Dragon. Three from Blue again. Three and a half from Quetus. Marvelous Mike is your winner. I'm glad my big coin was only 3k. <laughs> right? It's a lot of fishing gold for some people. Marvelous Mike. May have put himself in the main event picture here in NDW. 
picking up a big win here. All right, that's going to average out to a three-star match. This match has went fairly quick tonight, which is good because I just now started losing my voice. All right, let's go ahead and check in on Stream Raiders. We'll probably won't be able to run this one. Thank you, Soups. Appreciate it. We'll be back Tuesday. See you Monday. Good night, all. Good night, Blue. We'll see ya. We'll be back Tuesday. I'm not sure what we'll be doing just yet. Whoa. <laughs> My stomach just made a noise. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> that was exciting. Kind of liking these Sunday bigger cards. Especially as work is so chaotic. Start hyping up the, the uh, Skinathon here shortly. Probably, probably next month we'll start hyping that up. Um, it's just a month and some days away, so it's creeping up on us here pretty quick. So we will be giving away this card. It'll be exclusive to the Skinathon. There'll be other card giveaways that won't be exclusive. This one you can only get with the uh, five bomb, like Epic Waldo and BA Draft before it. So keep that in mind. I still owe you guys some stuff in the mail. I've only, the problem with the past few weeks is I've been at work the entire time. The post office has been open. So I'm behind on mailing out some prizes. I didn't forget you. I just uh, haven't had a chance to get down to the post office. So yeah, we'll stick around for this next Pokemon. And then I'll sign on out. Be back on Tuesday. Not sure what we'll do. Maybe, maybe some marbles. Dungeons is done. I didn't save a run, so we we can't do that. So it'll probably it'll probably be marbles or something else. We'll see. We'll see. I do plan on streaming though. I know it's been hit or miss lately, but I want to try and return to a regular schedule, especially leading up to the Skinathon. We've got a chance in chat, even though we got a different sprite on screen. Let's try and pokey catch that. Out of Pokeballs. I'm trying to figure out my audio issues. It makes it tough when I don't hear it. I don't know why it suddenly stopped, but it's, it's annoying. See who catches this last Pokemon. Nobody boo rigged. <laughs> All right, everybody, have a great night. I will see you soon. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate all of you. Good night.